welcome back to my channel oh, my goodness i am so speechless i got so much positive comments and feedback on my previous video and i just feel so motivated to make more videos because of you guys thank you for leaving me comments i will try my best to get back to all of you guys so today we're going to do a video of me trying to do Sonan's makeup. A lot of you guys have been saying I look like her. I was looking at her picture to see the resemblance and I think it's our cheeks. So this is the look. If you guys are interested, please keep on watching. So we have a nice glow action going. You know, we usually put the foundation and the highlighter, but I like to have the glow come from under the foundation. I'm gonna use this much. All I'm gonna do is just feed the foundation into the brush, just like so. So you want to make sure that the foundation is inside the brush and not really like outside the brush. This is the thickest part of our face. Move to the center of the face and just kind of make a nice even coat. You want to use tapping motions so you don't get brush strokes. You don't get brush, brush stroke marks. Do you see how you can't really tell that the foundation is going onto my skin? That's because it's so thin. That's exactly what we want. So you're only using a thin layer of foundation, but you're getting a high coverage application. If you saw my glass skin video, you know the concealer technique that I did. I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did with the foundation brush. I'm gonna feed the concealer into the brush and I'm just gonna use my hand as like a palette and make sure that the concealer is fully packed with the product. This is also a concealer, but I use this more as a brightener. So with my concealer, I just add like a dab like that. And then I also mix that into my brush with the concealer. Fun fact, I heard that Suji's makeup artist uses this on her, so. Do you see the difference? This is such a small technique that you can use when you apply concealer. I've noticed whenever I do this, I don't crease under my eye because it's such a thin layer, it's like second skin. brush like this perfect for under the eye and I'm gonna take the same color and I'm gonna go under the eye right here dab very lightly then take a blending brush and just blend it and I'm gonna get this right in between all my lashes following your natural eye shape. Well, I don't think I explained. I'm sorry. The reason why I did eyeliner and I'm going back to eyeshadow is because my boyfriend just FaceTimed me and he said, your makeup looks nothing like a Sunan. You gotta put more makeup. So that's taking his advice and I am putting on more makeup. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes now. And she usually has lashes that just curl straight up, so we're gonna do this thing. Top lash done. I 
weird that I look like Sonan before in my past YouTube videos. I heard some new names. Let me get the phone. Red Velvet Yeti. Black Pink Rose. Someone said, in some angles, you resemble IU. That one, I really can't see. But thank you all so much for telling me that. And that is the final look. Also, tell me what you guys want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.